What's going on, Internet? It is your boy, Eric Banholtz, back again with another awesome episode from Beard Brand. Today, I'm here with Ian Schoen, the podcast host of Tropical MBA. He's internationally known, and he talks about business stuff. <laughs> Businesses and beards, apparently, today. Yeah, what else are you going to talk about? I'm going to talk about five styling tips for your beautiful bald head and your beard. Mm. So, thanks for having me, Eric. Yeah, my pleasure. And uh, I think I may be a little too tall to share the camera with me. Get yeah. out of here. So when Eric asked me to do these videos for you guys on how to grow a beard when you're bald, I said, sure, no problem. All I require is $50,000. And he said, how about sushi? And I said, all right, no problem, I'm kinda out of work right now. So first tip is growing a beautiful beard. For a lot of you out there, this might be hard. For some of you like me, it's very easy. As you can see, it comes in full and bushy. And so I spend as little time as possible, but I do have to spend some time maintaining this and getting it the way that I want it to look. I've gone for a couple different looks in my life. I've gone super short. I've also gone really long. Uh, the reason I don't go super short anymore is because I have too many chins, so I like to tuck it underneath my beard. And the reason I don't go really long anymore is because I don't ride motorcycles as much as I used to. This is kind of my ideal length. This is also the length for me that takes the least amount of maintenance. The ultimate reason why I have a beard, and it's to balance out what I've got going on here. For me, I think it looks best on my head to have a little bit of facial hair here to balance out the baldness here. Now that might sound weird. You might say, why isn't it bald here? Because you're bald there. Well, this is my opportunity to stylize my hair, right? Because I don't have hair anymore, so I stylize down here. And I also think it gives me a little bit of balance and symmetry. My number two point in having a bald head and a beautiful beard is not shaving your head. Now this might seem kind of weird because we're talking about baldness, but in reality, I don't think everybody out there has to go completely bald or completely shaved. They can leave a little bit like I do. And the reason I do that is because again, talking about balance and symmetry, it balances out the beard. Now I'm fortunate that I have light hair. Um, and so when it grows in, a lot of guys will get like this halo because they're bald on the top. Mine doesn't do that so much. And I do actually have just a little bit left up here. So for me, it actually works out quite well. And I think for a lot of men out there, if you do have a little bit of hair on the top or if it's lighter hair, you can actually get away with not shaving it completely. And again, this goes back to laziness. If I don't have to bick it, or if I don't have to shave it completely, that means that I don't have to spend 20 minutes a day in the shower doing so. I can just use my clippers, set on the number one setting, and go over it myself. Uh, but the trick is this tool, and then this tool. So this tool is my feeler gauge, and this allows me to see the spots that I've missed on my head when I'm shaving. So as I go through, I go like this, and then I follow with my hand, and that gives me a pretty good cut most of the time. In fact, better than most barbers I go to these days, I can actually cut my hair better than them. So the next step to giving myself a haircut or giving myself a trim is the transition between my hair and my beard. A lot of people will just let their beard grow and grow and grow, and it ends up like out to here, and then all of a sudden you have this shaved head and it creates this weird transition. So what I like to do is on my trimmer, I set it to an intermediary step, right? So if you're shaving on like a number three or a number four, I'll go probably a number two or a number three, and I'll just trim right here up into my bald head. And when you get to here, you'll notice that there's a line I don't make that a sharp line. A lot of guys will come in and they'll go like this. And I think that that makes too much of an abrupt change between the hair and the beard. So I like to fade it. So I'll put it on like a number one or a number two and I'll just fade that top part. There's one last part to getting this transition between bald and beautiful beard. And that is sculpting this line right here. So a lot of guys, what they'll do is they won't touch it and they'll just leave their sideburns and their sideburns end up being about this wide. What I like to do is just with the metal edge, go in and trim it down and make this area a little bit more narrow. So again, what we're trying to do here is just make this transition as smooth as possible, as seamless as possible, and make it look like whatever hair you do have left, if you do have any, flows into your beard nicely. The third step in having a beautiful beard and a bald head is 
nipping those stray hairs. Yes, gentlemen, if you don't have a significant other around the house, don't worry about it. You can find these on your own. There's a couple places where you need to look for these stray hairs, and here's the reason why it's important. You have a blank, empty canvas now. There is not a lot to look at except for your bald, beautiful head, and so every little hair that you have sticks out, whether it be on your beard, or whether it be on your head, or whether it be on your nose, or whether it be on your ears. And so those are the main places where you wanna check. So what I do every time I cut my hair is I take my cheap razor, again, like this, I turn it on, and I just run it down the back of my ear, and I run it down the front side of my ear. The other issue is the nose hairs connecting to the mustache hairs. And again, you don't need a special tool or anything like that. You can take this guy, run it in your nose right there, run it in your nose right there. Bada boom, bada bing. Once a week, you got no connecting nose hairs. Finally, the last place where you need to get the stray hairs is on your beard. So what I tend to do is comb my beard down like this, either with my hand or with a beard. And a lot of times you'll see strays sticking out and they won't always tuck back in. So I turn this guy on and I just hit it like this. Just get those strays out of the way and then you will be stray free. The fourth point to having a bald, beautiful beard is taking care of that beautiful bald head. What do I mean by that? Well, if you're anything like me, it starts to get a little flaky, especially after you shave your head. And so what you have to do is you have to use a little utility balm or you have to use a little bit of sunscreen or you have to use a little bit of lotion. For me, I'm extremely fair skinned. So I find putting sunscreen on a daily basis is really important to stop both the sunspots, the sunburn, and also the flaking on the top of your head. Also, it's worth mentioning for me in the summertime, I always feel a little bit more confident because I have a nice tan on my head. Now, this isn't something that I would advocate going out there and burning the top of your head, but if you do get the opportunity to get a little sun on your head, I think it makes it look better when you're bald. Uh, this is, for me, a fine line between burning and looking good, so I always have a hat with me. Point number five, accessorize. Yes, sir, I own a lot of hats. I wear a lot of hats, and I also wear a lot of sunglasses, like these. And when I'm not wearing the sunglasses on my face, I put them right here. And there's a couple reasons for that. One is because I think it's really comfortable and really convenient to have them on the top of my head. And the other reason is, again, going back to symmetry and balance. Now I've got this beard down here. I've got this accessory up here. So if you're not wearing a hat, I do suggest that you put sunglasses on the top of your head because I think it looks cool and I think it's also very functional. So thanks for watching this video and if you like the video, please subscribe down below and tell your friends about being bald and beautiful.